Earlier in the year, I was watching the film Juno with my girlfriend. Now, in that film, there's a telephone that gets used in the shape of a burger. And uh, my girlfriend commented that it's one of those devices that sort of phones that she'd always wanted. No idea why, but uh, next day I kind of took the opportunity to kind of locate them on eBay and I ordered one. It kind of turned up a short time later, about five quid, really cheap plastic crappy phones and they're designed for kind of the old fashioned phone networks that kind of plug in with a cord. It's not particularly useful nowadays. But uh, I thought it might be fun to kind of have a go, see if I could turn into something more useful, uh, ideally for a mobile phone. So the idea was to kind of turn it into a wired handset. So you'd take an old kind of um, hands-free set, microphone earpiece kind of thing, and fit it up to plug into a phone. But at the same time, I got given a Bluetooth headset. It had a software of mechanical failures. So the electronics were fine. So I thought, why not use that to kind of fit it out with? And so I started along those lines, it looked kind of fairly promising, but in the end I kind of shelved that project just for kind of time reasons. But uh, Christmas is now upon us and I've decided to revisit and see if I can get it up and running um, before Christmas Day. So the phone itself is uh, pretty basic. Inside you've got a kind of regular number pad, so you used to dial the phone, and these two kind of slightly strange black bars. Um, I thought maybe it was kind of for a better model, perhaps with a screen on here, but no, it's just a sticker covering kind of two screw holes in both cases. But um, so that, that was fine. You've got a kind of switch in here, which is the hang up switch. As you folded the lid down, it got depressed and connected. But, um, but yeah, so I, with the Bluetooth hands free kit, all you've really got is one button. I'm ignoring volume controls here because I can do without. I hooked it up directly and Obviously going from a tiny earpiece to a big kind of speaker like this, it's um, it's going to be a lot quieter, so on the full volume it's acceptable. Um, you wouldn't want to drop the volume down any further, so volume controls I don't need to worry about extracting out. They are set to maximum, that's good to go. And so there's only one button, which is kind of uh, power on, power off, and kind of automated make a call type stuff. And so that needs to be brought through somehow. And uh, so I kind of had a few ideas on how to do that. So the original plan was just to use one of the buttons in the keypad, but it turns out the keypad isn't um, a nice kind of full contact on. You depress a button and it drops down to, I think it was a couple of hundred ohms. It's obviously fine for its own electronics, but I just wanted to feed it straight in, so that wouldn't do. It's not kind of good enough kind of button signal. So I need to put my own switch into here. Um, I started kind of looking at using the depress switch here, but it's slightly awkward, slightly odd. What I've decided to do now is to scrap this keyboard here. So 3D printed a little kind of plastic insert, which will fit on the front. I've got a little small kind of PCB button on the back, which will kind of recess, giving you a simple one button phone. It's uh, that bit out of the way. The electronics on the back are pretty basic. We've got um, just the Bluetooth kind of module here, which at the moment I'm just kind of blue tacking into place. The microphone and the headset are soldered directly onto the board. Um, no modifications, no changes were needed there. They really kind of matched well enough for this to work. Um, so it seems all right, so I'm not gonna mess with that. Uh, it charges with a micro uh, USB connector. There's a small, um, lithium polymer battery on board. And I had planned on potentially switching this up to a higher powered battery, but to be honest, it's, this is probably never gonna get used. It's a novelty item, like used once and put on a shelf. So I'm not gonna go to the extent of switching out the battery of something that might last hours. It's just not needed. Um, but I do need some way of charging it. Uh, the connector on the board is pretty kind of close to the edge. Um, there's no way of recessing that. So I've used one of my little kind of uh, micro USB breakout boards here. And so that will fit on the other kind of back case, just in the back so you can plug in a USB connector. To it on. And I managed to find um, there's a kind of uh, decoupling capacitor next to the USB connector. So I've soldered it across there. The button is a little kind of onboard button here. I've left that in place and just tacked another couple of wires onto it here. That'll be wiring inside. So I finished fitting the uh, button kind of mounting plate and I think everything's kind of working as expected. Uh, the finish isn't as good as I was hoping for, sadly. Um, the 
quality of 3D print wasn't perfect and at one point that's make it very thin so the, the hot glue started to bulge it very slightly but um, kind of in there, button works, there's nothing kind of unnecessary and over the top. Um, on the back, everything has been uh, roughly kind of glued down into place. Um, kind of got the Bluetooth headset module wired into the switch on the back of the PCB. Um, yeah, power kind of coming in and that kind of clips together quite nicely. So as far as a little kind of novelty project goes, I am quite pleased the end result is better than I was uh, expecting. So. Hi.